He looks like he's absolutely hating it. Oh, the poor kid. The poor kid. Hello guys and welcome to episode one of my let's play of Planet Coaster. Guys, I'm so excited. After being invited down to London at the press event, trying this game out, doing so much more than you, you saw on my video that's already been up on my channel with the interview with Nick for the head of animation. I've been so looking forward to getting back into this game again. And I thought before we dive into the world and some of the, the, the things that we can do together and start our Let's Play, I thought let's have a quick look at some of the options we have on here. There's only a couple, but we can change what we look like. So I've picked a person that ever so slightly looks a bit more like me. <laughs> more than the other male figures they've got on here anyway. So there we go, I picked that one. You've got your options up here, so you can change your audio, change your camera, change your graphics if you want to, your different options for the interface, the colour. I'm actually changing that to red. There we go, excellent. This didn't change a thing. <laughs> Maybe that's in-game interface, we shall see. It's alpha, it's alpha, alpha, so don't worry about that. And you've got all these other parks that you can load up and take a look in as well. There's a couple on here that I don't think I've seen before. I don't remember this one. I'm wondering just to quickly dive into one before we start in Sandbox Field. That's what we're going to be playing. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, we've seen that one. Let's scroll through. We saw that one on the video. Matthew, please stay on target. The Large Ravine. Sandbox Field, that's the one we're going to be doing. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Cracking Kingdom, yeah, we saw that one. King Planet's Pleasure Park, Salt Lake Valley. Let's have a quick look at this one here, the Large Ravine. Don't you remember that one? Oh, it's all changing to red now. More in keeping with the colours that I have on my channel. I thought that's the idea behind that. So let's check this one out. Oh, it actually is one that we can... Oh, wow, that we can build and play in. Oh, fantastic. I had no idea. And we've got the entrance here, ever so slightly different. Now, I hadn't seen this before. These guys are spoiling us with some different some different things that we can do. Well, that's that one. There we go. That's the ravine. So people are going to come in, <laughs> cross over the ravine, and then... Oh, man, we can add some roller coasters in here, couldn't we? Good grief. Let's check out, let's check out some of the other ones that we've got as well. So can we go back to... Exit to the main menu. Okay. We didn't save the game, so that's fine. Let's check out which other ones are new. Forest Sandbox. Let's take a look at that one. Don't forget as well, we can unlock the coasters, which is something that I show Whoa. Something I showed on the video particularly for that, how to unlock the coasters. But I'm going to do it on this as well, so we can build those. Wow, that is looking nice. You've got a nice forest area. And this area for building in is pretty big as well, as we can see. Okay, well that's our next choice. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay, let's load this one up and take a look. Oh wow, this is another... Goodness me. I mean, at the minute we don't have the terrain options where you can adjust the terrain yourself. So being able to jump in and do stuff in a, in a world like that, that would be very interesting. Let's have a look at this entrance that we've got here as well. Here's King Coaster. I like the look of this entrance. Again, this is all modular building. You guys can do this yourself as well. Oh, this is looking fantastic. Okay, there we go. There's the next one. Let's pop back to the main menu. Thinking, which one should we take? I quite like the look of the large ravine. I'm thinking we're going to go for that one. Gives us some nice open space, a nice interesting start at the beginning there. There we go. I think that one looks quite cool. We want to unlock the coasters first of all. So if you open up any of these here, we'll take that one, click on the search and type in under construction. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. There we go. Coasters have now been unlocked. Aha, we can build host track, box spline track, and we can give those a go. That would be fantastic. Let's have a look what else has been added here. We don't have blueprints yet. We don't have the shops yet. So, and that's a shame because the shops are actually in the in the alpha that I played with. So they've obviously taken those out for now. We've got that under coming soon. So we can start laying some paths here. Okay, let's dive straight in. Let's take a look at the paths menu that we've got. So at the minute nobody's coming in. 
There's nothing for them to see. But the second we add some light, people will start coming in. It's a show. I would have liked to have added some shops in here, but we'll have to wait for that. So what's that? Like a it's like a broken little bridge that we've got there. Let's take a look actually at the help. Place path left mouse, delete path right, raise lower, left mouse button hold. We can go up and down. Change path height, shift and hold, close path toward escape. Okay, you can also. If I remember correctly, you've got plus and minus. Oh, there we go, the bracket keys next to P on your keyboard. There we go, right bracket to make it bigger, left bracket to make it smaller. That's it, shift to change the height, or left mouse button, you can turn it into a slope. So I'm thinking, oh, here we go, look at that. And also we've got angle snap, let's put that on. So it'll snap to an exact angle, I think that's cool. I just want to go straight across. That is a long way down. I had no idea that was so far down. Wow. Are people going to actually be happy to walk on <laughs> on something that's so... Let's have one going that way, and then we'll have another one coming this way. And if I remember correctly, yeah, plus and minus makes it longer or shorter. There we go, as well. I was hoping to try and mirror that, but coming out the other way. What I might do is just delete that bit... Go straight, and then what we'll do is we'll connect to this one here. There we go, and then we'll connect to that one there. There, so we can start building out from those directions. Excellent. Wow, that is an interesting start to our park. I'm just wondering, actually, whether to not go straight down. I may change that, because... We're sort of missing this little thing here, which people could could enjoy and see as they come in. So I'm just wondering. Let's let's delete this. So it's just easy enough to right click and delete your path, which is fine. It's all trial and error. I'm thinking here. Let's take that one. Let's no. <coughs> let's attach a straight one there, and then right click to let go. Yep, and then I want to attach to here. Here we go. So I'm going to come out. It's When you get used to it, it's good. If you right-click somewhere else, it won't delete. It will just let go of the key for you. Uh, let go of the hook onto the path. And then I'm going to go across here. And if you make that nice and long, if you do a plus key, so that will literally go straight across... Make that go down. Can I make that go down some more? We can. And connect to there. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That is just what we want. Let's make this a bit shorter. So if I can match that one, that would be great. And that seemed to snap more at a right angle last time. I think it was like that, and then like that. There we go. That's it. Let's make that longer. Make that as long as we can. And I think... That's it. We went down once. And then we went down again. Perfect. There we go. The screen's sort of jigging around a bit as well as I'm trying to do that. We can take that one out. That's it. That is not quite lined up. Oh, I haven't done the centre here. That's okay. We can fix that. So trying to get used to the way this all works. It's interesting. Let's just disconnect that. Disconnect that. There we go. That's fine. And then we can connect those up, can we? Let's just see if there's a good way of doing that. So let's make this a bit shorter. We go like that. Like that. Perfect. There we go. We've done it. We've got our entrance path. I'm going to take that little bit off there. Can I put something in here? <laughs> I don't think I could fit a coaster in there. I'm not sure I want any rides up there. I want people to come straight down here and start enjoying things. Let's see. Oh, we do have the facilities. That's what we had before, not the shops. I beg your pardon. This is what we had. So let's see. I want them to start buying things when they come in. Um, premium drinks, got hat shops, food shops toilets, more hat shops, what should we go with, what theme, I'm thinking we get them to buy hats when they first come in, they're all excited, they've just arrived, 
I'm going to run the path down the side here a bit. They just arrived at Planet Coaster, and they're very excited. Can I add off of here? Not letting me add off of this path. Okay, we're going to build down here then. Let's go straight down, left click and hold. And then I want to curl that round. Excellent, that's what I want. Let go. Right click, let go. Good, right, let's go back into the buildings. Tell you what it is as well, as I'm so used to the Sim, not Sim City, the City Skyline way of playing that it's sort of catching me out a bit. So, Zed. There we go. Let's you scroll things around. Let's see where's a good place to put that. We could actually add, if we have a hat shop. Oh, I said tap Z once and it sort of goes around the four cardinal directions. Hold Z and you get this sort of scrolling view. There we go. So we're now in edit building mode. So we can come in and out of that quite easily. Let's add some walls. So we've got we've got like a white fronted place here. Glass wall half height. There we go. Z, that'll just snap them around. That's quite nice looking stuff. Let's see what else we've got in here. We've got castle stuff, we've got pirate stuff. So I'm thinking of sticking with the, the basic blue and white at the moment. This is just the first first thing these guys are going to see. Actually, let's remove those. Easy enough, just right click on them. That's what I want. Get some nice glass panels in there. And that'll look good. Maybe a glass arch there. And then we're going to add another building. If I can. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change that. I'm going to put the glass arch there. Let's see whether I can add... Ba -ba -ba -bung. Another facility and make it all the one building. So we've got hats. Let's get some premium drinks in here as well. There we go. Hats and drinks. Excellent. And then we'll try and sort of mirror that. Just going to fit in there. Perfect. And you can see how big that you can make these as well. They just keep going backwards. That's fine. Got a nice little archway. I'm just thinking here we might run a path through there. And we're still in the building mode are we no it's taking us out of the building mode am i going to be able to run a path through there possibly not yeah because we're in the building mode section oh, okay that's fine we won't do that then we'll put some trees in here instead let's go back into the building mode let's close the path menu there we go back into the building let's edit that oh sip of tea let's see how can we make this look really nice I'm thinking more glass along the top. If we go with some half height. So let's see, how are we going to make this go high? Let's have a look. Uh, rotate, raise lower is shift. That's it. Oh, lock to axis is control. Okay, that's fine. Let's do shift then. There we go. We're up a couple of levels. Let's do Z. Easy. Easy. Excellent. Nice shiny glass wall. Above the shops, good, good. They're waiting there patiently for me to finish the shop so people can come along. So what we might do is just sort of finish this shop off and get some people in. We want them in here spending their money. Right, let's do that one again. Going to line that one up. Is that going to line up to the corner? There we go. We get it in the block like that. Excellent. Very good. And then we need the half height glass around the top here to match up the half height on the bottom. I love this modular building. And when you get to start sharing this with people as well, that is going to be great. At the minute, it is possible to share your save game. You can do that. If you're, if you're clever, you can just basically send somebody your save game folder. How that will work with any save games you've already got, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, I like that. Uh, I was thinking of having it going sideways. Um, sort of having it as an overhang, like that. And then what have we got there? Still roof flat. Can I rotate that around? Yeah, there we go. Not, not quite sure how this is going to attach yet. What's this one? High curve, yeah, that's the one we had. 
Rotate that. Shift to go down. Once you've started this modular building, it's it's good fun. It's not it's not too difficult once you've got the keys down. I mean, if I'd um, if I'd had an opportunity to play the game a bit, oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to rotate that. If I had an opportunity to play the game a bit more before I recorded, oh, it's the right way around now. There we go. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to overhang it over the back as well. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to have another one of these either side. We'll do this, and then we're going to get a coaster or something in. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, there it is. It's down. Let's do that. Let's rotate that. There we go. So we've sort of got it overhanging the back. Um, we need some struts or something to hold. Ah, now how am I going to rotate these the other way? Z control. That's going that direction. Ah, there we go. Oh, excellent. That's good. Do we got any short ones? Yeah. Let's put some of those in. In fact, I'll just put these in here and then I'm going to change. I'm going to take those ones out and I'm going to put long ones in here. Let's rotate those. Shift to go up. Just to go down. There we go. Because on here we are going to put our sign. What can we have? Chief Beef Wooden Sign, Cosmic Cow Large Lit Sign. Cosmic Cow, no, not the one. Large Neon Sign. It might go with Cosmic Cow, actually. UFO Sign. <laughs> I like these. We're sort of getting into the... Oh, here we go. Burger. In fact, I've changed my mind again. Let's take out... Wall extras. Let's take out those, those, and those. We're going to have these here instead. Let's go back, go down. We're going to have one there. And we're going to have, yeah, that's where they should be. Back one. Get rid of that. This is what we're going to put the signs on. Back, back, down. Back. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. That's what's going to be the signs on. Then we want the short ones in there. Fantastic. Okay, back to the signs. Oh man, you could just spend so long doing these things. It's nuts. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So that's for the toilets. Yeah, I think one of these neon neon cows. That's a bit small. So what have we got this side? We've got hats that side and drink this side. So yeah, definitely. Cosmic Cow Banner logo. I want the biggest one they've got. And I want it on here. Cosmic Cow. If I press Alt, does that snap it to... Snap Decorations, F. Ah, oh, perfect. There we go. That's lined it up. Yep, that's going to go there. And we want a hat one the other side. <laughs> yep, no, too small. Uh, Chief Beef Light. What have we got? Some sort of a sign that's going to tell you you can buy a hat here. I'm hoping there's a big, large hat sign. Hey, okay. Oh, there it is. Let's try this one. Okay. That's looking a bit weird. Can I rotate that? I want to rotate that around the other way. If we rotate, rotate, lock to axis, shift, pull, push. Hmm. There it is. Done it again. Right, let's hold shift. No, hold F. That's the one we want. Hat's fantastic. Hooray! Our first little mini shop. Probably entirely unstructurally sound. There we go. Let's exit the building. Yay! There we go. People aren't coming in yet because they want to go and see a ride. Have a quick sip of tea. Let's add a oh, slam that down. Let's add a ride in. Let's add a simple ride in to get people in. The Sky Ace. Yeah, there we go. Something for the kids. This is going to go over here. It's going to nestle up against the side there. So now we have the ride flow. So we can place our entrance and the exit. Let's have a look. This will be interesting to see how we curl this around. I'm just wondering whether if we run our path 
along here. There we go. And we'll have our entrance over here. So people can queue up and down there. Our exit. Oh, fantastic. Look, that's like lined up nicely. There we go. Add the queue. So let's make this a bit longer. And I'm going to try and do some switchbacks here. There is a way of doing that so it doesn't hook onto itself. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's make that a bit shorter. I like this snap to angle thing that we've got. That's not too bad, is it? That's it goes straight like that. I mean, I'm expecting this to be a really busy ride. <laughs> Maybe not as busy as this, but I want you to try this sort of switch back thing out. There we go. That'll do, that'll do. We don't want people queuing too much. And then if we add a ticket booth, that maybe will snap to both of those. Let's line that up straight. There we go. And now we can open the ride. Yay! And let's have a look. People are going to start coming in. Here they come. They're coming already. They've heard about our ride. They're already heading in. Yay! King Coaster's leading them in. They're so pleased. Hello, everybody. And it's nice to see these sort of family groups. Something they said that generally you will find people will go to theme parks and they will have other people with them. They won't go on their own. Um, are they going to stop off and buy a hat or a juice on the way? <laughs> so you will generally see them in groups like this. You might get the odd, odd person on their own. Not that they're odd, but you know what I mean. Metin Baton. He's on his own. While they're heading down there, let's add a bit of scenery in. Let's get some trees and stuff. What have we got? Nature, banana palm, rhododendron. Yeah, let's add a few of these. Just to sort of smart on the place up, like a little rhododendron forest. I might actually place those on top of the other trees. I have. I had no idea. Can I delete those? Oh, okay. You've got to select, then delete. Okay, that's fine. A little rhododendron forest going on here. Something nice to look at. King Coaster's doing his work. There we go. We've had a few little rocks as well. Got something a bit smaller. Yeah, there we go. We can rotate those around. That's it. Nice. So we can really start adding some detail. They're heading down here. Look at that. They're very excited. Woohoo! Oh, there's people there already. Oh, you're the person working on the ride. Hello, I haven't seen you before. These will be animated soon as well. You'll be able to sort of add different things of these. You can edit. I clicked on this here. Ride cameras, move entrance, move exit, move. No, all of that's fine. We're going to leave that open. They're heading down there. Always exciting. Let's stick some nice maple trees along here. Let's have a look. We have one at either end and one in the middle. I think that looks nice. Let's do the same on the other side. This is what I'm looking forward to most. The fact that you can tinker with things and make it look make it look really nice. I'm looking forward to doing that the most. Let's have another one there. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Probably need... Yep, they're going down, they're queuing up. I want to add two opposite. Oh, we've got rotation snap. What does that do? Of course we can rotate these trees as well. I'd forgotten about that. Let's add two on there. So we can change degree of snap. Okay, that's fine. Here we go, they're queuing up. Let's speed it up a tiny bit, get them there. Oh, they've spent all day. <laughs> Was that a day and night that shot past? It's now 8 in the morning. Here we go, they're running on. They're so excited. And this is our first ride in our theme park. We need a name for our theme park. This is nice and slow. Let me know. Let me know what we can call our theme park. Something Biffa related, tea related maybe. We have 200 visitors. It's Biffa Coaster Park. I wonder if we can change the name yet. We can't change the name yet, but... We will have a name. We will call it a name. You guys can let me know. Here we go. Is it filled up yet? Almost. Look at that. They're running in. Let's look at the animations. When they sit in, that's it. Get themselves ready. They're so excited. 
Oh, one more. Where are you going? We have room for one more. Any more? I wonder if the family units will split up once they get to the ride. Let's see. No, it's going. We can hear it as well. Let's have a look at the coaster cam. Oh, wow. This is a swingy one. This one I like. The cinematic view. Oh, my goodness me. I'm feeling sick just watching it. Whoa, there we go. Oh, looking cool. I love that. That's the cinematic view. Let's jump into a seat view. So we're actually in the seat now, enjoying the ride. <laughs> enjoying the ride. <laughs> and you can change that as well if you haven't seen it. If you go to here, you can change which cabin we're in, which seat we're in as well. There we go. So that would be the back seat. And we can look at a person as well and see how much they're enjoying the rides. He's absolutely loving it, isn't he? Woohoo! There we go, they're loving it as well. We can't change to the back seats. Oh, we can, but we're, we've got the front seats in the way on this one. Fair enough. Loving the different reactions of the people. Oh, look at this kid. Look, he's like, oh my goodness. You can see the G-forces on their lips as well. <laughs> he looks like he's absolutely hated it. Oh, the poor kid. The poor kid. Let's go back to the cinematic one. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. And people are queuing up. This is the only ride that's here, so they're queuing up for that. That is fantastic. Well, let me know in the comments below what we're going to call um, our park here. Look, people have got drinks now. Look, let's have a look. Yep, they've got drinks. Anybody have hats that they bought? Let's check out the people walking down here. They're leaving. Oh, they've got drinks already and they're going. Nobody's bought a hat yet. Oh, oh, oh. People need to start buying hats. Yeah, let me know below. What you think we should call our park. I'll be very interested to hear from you. And tune back in a bit later on today. I'm going to continue with our park. And we're going to get episode 2 out super quick. Because I'm having great fun with this. We're going to maybe add a few things to here as well. We've got all sorts of things we can add on. If you're new to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't miss out. We're going to maybe do a roller coaster next time as well. I think that will be fantastic. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys. So excited for Planet Coaster. See you soon. Bye bye.